Shalom. All praises go to the Most High. Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahashak. Ba'asham, Mekah, Kadash, Mekah, Double honors unto the elder apostles at Great Millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Shalom. Shalom. All right, man. So, yeah, we're here today again, man. You know, prophesied it down for all this kingdom. To tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, you know, that grace period, you know, that y'all keep claiming, it's about to be up, man. All right? And that, you know, uh, time of Jacob's trouble is at hand. All right? So, the thing is about being in his truth, you know, just as our Lord, Yahweh Shai, he had, to, he had a, a thick skin. All right? He dealt with a lot of things, but what did he do? He stayed spiritual. He never got carnal, all right, and took vengeance upon his own hands. So okay. one time, one time, he, one time that that shows you that one thing can get him out of out of peace character is if you make it if you make it merchandise of his father's house, which is what you people at Sakari are doing, man. selling stuff. You know what I'm saying? This truth shouldn't be shouldn't be about you know making money and stuff like that, man. Right. Having been setting up Patreons and uh, all that that type of nonsense. Yeah, man. Uh, can you grab me a Second Corinthians chapter six, verse three? You know. And um, our Lord Yahushua was a perfect example of how we're supposed to conduct ourselves in His ministry. Okay, not to go out there and uh, do stupid <laughs> things like how you see. Zakari, you know, they're a very bad example. An example that you don't want to follow at all because these dudes are carnals as hell, man. In their videos, you see them with, uh, with guns. When they're out there preaching the word of the Most High, they're with guns, okay? To show you that they're carnal, man. Okay? You either live it by the gun, die by the gun. You either live it by the sword, die by the sword. That's right. You know, and, and, and the Lord told Peter, you know, when uh, Peter cut the ear off of... Uh, was it that, that soldier? That soldier, Roman soldier. And what did the Lord say? The Lord said, if it was my kingdom, my servants shall fight, man. But right now it's not the time, man. Okay? He said, he that kill it with the sword must, must be killed. Must be killed with the sword. That's right. He shall die by the sword. You know? And what's gonna happen to Esau? That's what's gonna happen to Esau. Because Revelations talks about that. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Okay, so you don't want to be in that same spirit as Esau, carnal as hell, man. Okay. Second Corinthians 6 and 1. We then, as workers together with them, beseech you also that ye receive not this grace of Yahweh in vain. For he saith, I have heard thee in, in the time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I searched thee, of security, meaning secure. Behold, now is the acceptance time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Right. Give no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. So, to give offense is to go out there and do things that you are not to do, man. Contrary to the scriptures. That's right. So, if the scriptures tell you not to go out there and eat pork, don't go out there and eat pork. Don't go out there and commit adultery, which is sleeping with another man's girl. Sex on the Sabbath. Having sex on the Sabbath. All right? Going out there doing things that are uh, against the scriptures, man. That's giving offense. Why? Because if you're out there doing contrary to the, the scriptures, you're offending the most high, man. And this ministry is supposed to be blameless. Because if you're out there doing the things that are causing offense, that makes you look like a hypocrite, man. Yeah, that makes you look good. Good. right. It makes you look like a hypocrite. Verse 4. Wait, uh, grab me um I'm gonna get go off of this right here, this verse. You, you said Second Corinthians uh, six, six and, and three. three. Yeah, I, I just read that. Yeah, but I want to pre precepts on for these. Uh, okay. Can you grab me Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse fourteen? You know, because you know, being in this truth, you know, you got to have a thick skin. So the things that you have to go through, you know, uh, uh, because look, we in a kingdom where. It's nothing but wickedness. Everybody's having a good time in what? In wickedness. But we suffer being in this truth. Okay? So you have to understand that, you know, as the scriptures say about concerning the, this, this uh, little book, man. 
You know, when you first eat it, it's sweet in your mouth. But you know, when it hits the belly, it's bitter because, yeah, you come in this truth, you find out that you're a Hebrew Israelite, you know that you are the chosen people of the Most High, okay? The only true living power that we are the chosen people, right? It sounds good, right? But then comes the bitterness, then comes the trials and tribulations, you know? And the Lord had a thick skin. He stayed humble, okay? The only thing that he was doing is doing the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the enemy called God. He wasn't out here doing things that, he, he didn't even have a woman. You know what I'm saying? He, was, he didn't even have a home for himself. He, he didn't have a, a, a tent that was a former stripper club. That shit is unclean as hell. It might be semen on the, on the ground, because you know they fuck in there. You know, it might be pussy juice dripped up on the ground, on the floor. You know, you know somebody got sucked off in there. And you know they didn't take a bath after they did that shit because they ain't clean like that. You know? The book of Ecclesiastes 7 and 14. In the day of prosperity, be joyful. But in the day of adversity, consider. Right. So, so in, the, in the days of prosperity, uh, you know, you're having a good time, right? But in the days of adversity, you got to consider it. You know, that's why it's better to be in the house of, of, of mourning than to be in the house of peace. Because when you're going through adversities, you're going through things, you know, you got to have the thick skin, you know, because you got to consider what's actually happening, you know, because if you're doing that, then you're understanding, hey, the Heavenly Father is doing something. Is he coming up with the Volta? Yes, okay. yeah. He's is actually, is he the Volta? Mm -hmm. he's, he's actually purging the, the, the dross out of you, man. You know? He's putting you through situations that you're going to be uncomfortable, all right? And the scriptures tell you in Micah 2 and 10 that, you know, we are to uh, depart from the ways of this world, man. Because this is not our rest, man. Because it's polluted. You know? And right now, we are entering into the time of, of what? A beginning of sorrows, man. You know what I mean? The squeeze is coming, man. You see things are becoming more expensive in the stores. You know, while there's so many distractions, you know, you got the distraction with uh, the, the, the abortions of my, uh, uh, my body. Uh, what was that dumb shit they say? Uh, my body, my choice. You know what I'm saying? You got... Uh, uh, that didn't uh, happen in the, in the vaccine uh, trials. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. shows you that you're only allowed to do what the government allows you to do. You ain't free. You think you are. But anyway, go on. Yeah, man. You know that Johnny Depp uh, distraction? Oh, that shit. The Will Smith distraction? That shit. You know what I'm saying? These are all distractions. And the demon. Right. While the price of everything going up, man. Our things are becoming much harder, you know? That's Just why. Ke Kevin Samuel died. Yeah, that too. Now you got these females out here talking shit. You also got these fucking um, uh, simps, you know, that, that, that want to pick up the, the black ni uh, nigga bitch. Talking about, yeah, Kevin Samuels is dead, you know, and he was all putting shaming on women. Like, no, the only thing that he was doing is uh, exposing put, it, talking about it. And, 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 and showing that they're not being accountable for their uh, horrible actions. Bet you they celebrated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they did. Well, they these, did, they did. With these females, you know what I'm saying? What is it? You know, you walk, you walk around, you see a bunch of them with children, but the person, man, it's like the virgin birth all over all yeah. this place, man. You know what I'm saying? believing in that uh, virgin purpose. You know what I'm saying? But th these females are not taking accountability for their actions, man. You know? And they, they, don't, they don't understand, man, you know, as the scriptures talk about, you know, many days and years shall ye, uh, 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 careless women, uh, be. Shall ye be troubled. Many shall days troubled? and years shall ye be troubled. Yeah, man. Ye careless daughters. Take yeah. ye, take ye, take ye, take, uh, take here. Take ye. And a, and, a, and a man, well, you know, the thing is, he was correct on some parts, but a lot of things he was not, man. Concerning marriage, okay? Concerning uh, 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 pork. pork and shit like that. Because he was talking about, yeah, eating pork is good for you, right? It's not. You know it's what not I'm good for you. It's very bad, even according to the standards of this world. It gives a lot of diseases and stuff like that. But yeah. anyway, uh, there was a doctor that was writing down in his book, and his, uh, I don't know where he's at anymore. Uh, I'm sure you can't find it. He says when you eat pork, you show to be a cancer patient eight to nine hours. A cancer patient. You know what I'm saying? Ecclesiastes yeah. 7 and 14. Right. In the day of prosperity, be joyful. Right. But in the day of adversity, consider. Right. So yeah, in the day also. of prosperity, 
you know, be joyful. Why? Because Heavenly Father made it for you to, you know, have a good time. But in a day of adversity, consider what's going on, right? Because the Most High, just like with Job, Job even said to his wife, he said, don't, uh, you know, we're going to receive both good and evil, man. You know? That's why the scriptures say in Romans 15 and 4, things are written in a hard time and written far learning. Because when you go back to Job, Job, hey, he explained it perfectly well. Let me be weighed e uh, evenly. Uh, uh, let my integrity. Right. Job chapter 2 and 10. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speak. Mm -hmm. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High, and shall we not receive evil? Right. And all this did Job. Did not Job sin with his lips? Right. So even when uh, Job was being tried and going through much adversity, he didn't sin with his lips, man. And that's really something we need to consider because, hey, even when we're dealing with going to our jobs, the plantation that you work at, you know what I'm saying? You're going to catch ad ad adversity there too, man. You're going to catch hell there too from your boss. Uh, can you grab me um, really quick um, concerning that matter? Uh, grab me um, Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 4. No? Because even when you when you catch a hell at your oh. job. I did not know that, my man. See, I uh, know. It's 10 and what? The Ecclesiastes is 10 and 4. If the spirit of the rulers rise up against thee, leave not thy place for yielding pacified great offenses. Yeah, man. So if, if, if your boss get pissed off at you, you know, and starts talking crazy to you, don't just depart and leave, man. Just stay in the spirit and just take it and then continue working, man. That's what a lot of people do. That's why I threaten dudes. Like, listen, if you walk away from here, you should never come back again. If I'm in a discussion with you and you walk off talking about, I'm oh, storm off, man. I can't take it. You better not come back. We had people in this camp do that shit, man. I told them straight away, man. If you leave right now, you can stay with you. You can stay gone, man. You should not come back ever again to this house. Just leave, man. You know what I'm saying? Some of them, they stay because, you know, they don't want to, but then, uh, you know, they consider themselves. Others, they leave. You shouldn't come back, man. Yeah, man. Come, like, me, like, brother made a perfect point on that. So if that's the case, you know, being in this truth, you got to have a thick skin. So if you're getting corrected... You know, how much more do you obey when Esau is sitting there getting on your ass, man? You know, you stay humble then, right? But when, you, when you're in this truth, man, you should do the same thing, man. So even when you're at your job, okay, when your boss is getting on your ass, remain in your spot, man. You know, because the most High is doing things, man. You know, that's why uh, uh, the brother read, in a day of thy adversity, you know, uh, uh, consider Okay? The Most High is doing things for a reason. And it's to keep you in the spirit, man. Because, hey, you know, this is not our rest, man. It shows you this is not our rest. Why? Because we got heathens over us, man. One, ruling over us, teaching our children, okay? Indoctrinating them with this fucking garbage that they're doing right now uh, concerning sexual acts when they're not even sexually active. First of all, they shouldn't even teach your child about sex, period. You should, they shouldn't have your child in their authority <clears throat> in the first place. That's right. Even Malcolm X said, only a fool would allow his, en to with, uh, would allow his enemy to teach his children. Only a fool. And you can see the majority of our people are fools because which schools do they send you to? And be, pr and be proud about it too. You know, proud to send you to school. Proud to have a diploma written by a cave monkey, man. Back to Ecclesiastes 7 and 14. You know? So even when you're catching hell at your job, man, just stay in the spirit. Okay? You know, pray up to the Heavenly Father. And if he's being a straight fucking demon, just, you know, set your curses and then leave it. Let the most high deal with that, man. Ecclesiastes 7 and 14. In the day of prosperity, be joyful, but in the day of adversity, consider. How also it set the one over against the other. To the end that man should find nothing after him. Um, keep right 
So it says here, In the day of prosperity be joyful, but in the day of adversity consider. Yahweh also had set the one over against the other. So it's also it's always going to be a one place of living. Now we are in our sorrow. Esau's in his joy. Once that time comes, Esau's going to be in his sorrow, and we're going to be in our joy. You know what I'm saying? Now the heathen nations are in their joy, to a certain degree, because they can have all these things, they can sell all their stuff and stuff like that. But you don't see our people really having a ball or having merchandise like that, right? So they, 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 the, 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 the merchants of this earth, they're all in cahoots with Esau, man. And they're happy because they live in them fancy Edomite type of places, man. You have certain uh, people that don't even speak English. First, first they come <coughs> and live in your midst. <coughs> Then they set up businesses, and before you know it, within three, four, five years, they live in the upper, upper, upper places with Esau, man. Meanwhile, our people have been living here for decades upon decades. they just the first generation, can't even speak a lick of Dutch, come over here, be balling in your neighborhood for a while, you know, hanging around, and then all of a sudden they're balling, and then they move to them fancier neighborhoods, but they keep their stores here. Because when they go to them Edomite places and they set up stores there, they got to let the prices be a little bit lighter. Because if you buy if you buy bread here, the bread is maybe like, what, 35 cents? And when you go to the Turkish places and stuff like that, the, the same bread is like 25 cents and stuff like that. So they're making it uh, more expensive in our neighborhood. Because when they're in their own neighborhood, they don't make it that, that expensive. Right? So basically, you're going to have a one set against another. You know, there's always left and right. That's the point. There's always uh, good versus evil, left versus right. You know, you're gonna have the, the good versus bad, for example. You're gonna have the prosperous, and you're gonna have the, 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 the non-prosperous, which is the poor, and the meek, which is where our people fall in. But then you have the poor of Edomites, too. We don't give a goddamn about them, so. You're gonna stay poor. You're gonna be a three-time loser, man. You're already a two-time loser over here. In the kingdom, you're gonna be a third. Make that a triple six. Uh, 7 and 14. Yahweh also had set the one over against the other, to the end that man should find nothing after him. All things have I seen in the days of, va of my vanity. There is a just man that perished in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man that prolonged his life in his wickedness. Yeah, man. That's the way it is nowadays, man. See what's going on today, man. The wicked are really prosperous, man. Those that really are, uh, you know, the just, man. You know, as it talks about Daniel's uh, seven and um, twenty-five. You know that uh, you know they wear out the, even the saints, man. You know? That's okay. Now it says, Wisdom of Solomon three and one. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. Because it just said, wait, let me read it again. Because it just said, Ecclesiastes 7 and then uh, 15. All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There is a just man that perisheth in his righteousness. And there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness. Right? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Lord. And there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise they seem to die. And their departure is taken for misery, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, for Yahweh proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace had he tried them, and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of yeah, because, you know, you see these people out here, they look at us and, you know, you, you know, you got brothers of, of us that pass away. And they'd be like, well, if, he, if he's a man of the world, then how did he get killed like that? You know, how did he kill, how, how did he die like that? I thought he was a just man. Why they, would the Most High put him to death? They might but be laughing. Be, yeah, scoffing, talking shit, look just, at him now. Just like how they're laughing at Kevin Samuels. Yeah. The Most High probably just took him out of the truth, uh, out of this world for better, for his better, his better, yeah. I just read that. Let me read it again. Yeah, because he's going to be chilling up, you know, as, as you could say, heaven, you know, which is pretty, pretty much paradise. He's at rest. He's sleeping. But he's going to be rewarded. His, His body is sleeping. Yeah. 
he's going to be rewarded. <laughs> when when the, when the, when the Lord come, he's going to be rewarded. No, no, he didn't die in his truth. This Kevin one's Samuels. Gonna, no, no, I'm talking about the just. Oh yeah, but I was talking about Kevin Samuels. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm talking about the justice that's talking right, right. about here, right, right. the full immortality. Right, 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 right. You know, they're going to be rewarded because when they come back, the Lord, he's, they're going to be already in their new bodies, man. Ready to fucking put a beating to you wicked ass niggas, man. You know? And you, you, you fucking heathens and you Edomites, man. They're waiting. Especially the ones that you was laughing, talking shit. <laughs> you don't want to be alive in those days. The scriptures say, you know, the, uh, if you was to defend one of these small ones, it would be better for you to uh, tie a, a millstone around your neck and throw yourself in the deepest oceans than to offend one of these little ones, man. So when that happens, man, <laughs> You know, you're going you gonna to mourn, man. You're going to be crying in them days. We're waiting for them days to come, man. Because, yeah, hey, man, just going to have the reward, man. That's why we got to stay patient, man. Stay patient. Continue to be faithful in the Lord. Because, hey, we continue to do that. We, we endure to the end, man. The same shall be saved. And guess what? We're going to be rewarded as well, man. That's why we got to have a thick skin in this truth, man. Just as our Lord, man. Right. Because okay? so we're going to be tried. So it says here, first, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 5. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Yahweh proved them and found them, found him them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace, and he tried them, and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine, and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. See, that's, they talking, shall. About, that's talking about spiritual powers, man. You're going to have men running around here like the Flash. You know, all of a sudden, you just see all these people walking around and they get cut in half all at one time. One time. See them sliding put apart. The, put the sword <laughs> back in the, in the sheath. Everybody you know, drop it. You take the sword first, shake the blood off, and then put the sword back in the sheath. And then you see everybody <laughs> drop it. That's what's coming, man. That's what's coming to this earth, man. And yeah, that's why we got to continue to be uh, uh, humble, man. Be, be blameless. Because we're going to get a reward. You know, you got niggas out there that, that, that are fucking calling us out. <laughs> Bunch of niggas that know they're Israelites, man. Bunch of niggas call themselves pushing the word of the most high. Be, be, be having strip clubs and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Talking about you you and uh, lost the oil. Because that's what the Sakari click is saying nowadays about the elder pulses that they lost the oil. Meanwhile, you got a, you got a strip club full of, full of hoes on the Pasha and then an after party at the Pasha. Meanwhile, the scripture says that once you ha have eaten this meal, nobody can go outside no more. Why don't you try and at least keep that one? But nah, man, you in the house of feasting, so let me go on. They, they had, they had what, all kinds of liquor in there, Hennessy hey, with yeast all up in it. Yeah, man. You, you, you gotta be kidding me. No, they had bottles of fucking liquor in that motherfucker. Yo, that shows you that like, what the fuck? Man, y'all didn't even have the oil to begin with, man. Because you should know that there's yeast in liquor. That's why it rises up. You know what I'm Because the yeast, when, when making liquor, what the yeast does, the yeast is sugar. And that's where the alcohol, alcohol comes out. Right. Because the yeast of sugar shits out alcohol. So let me go on. That's what it does, man. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and... Peace. Eight. What you say? I have a piece Okay. And the go ahead. Spiritual powers. Go ahead. This is, uh, this is Joshua chapter 23, verse 10. One man of you shall chase a thousand for the Lord your power. He is that he it is that fighteth for you as he had promised you. Yeah, man. So even back then, we, one of us was chasing a thousand. Well, guess what? That's going to return, man. That's what's going to. That's what's going to happen. You're going to see thousands of people running for their lives, man. From one man of the Lord, man. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I can imagine. That. <laughs> that's fucking dope. You hear screaming, people running over each other, trotting over each other. Tripping. You're tripping. Traveling over their own babies to death. <laughs> tripping over nothing. <laughs> Jason style. These yeah. bitches always trip over nothing. But this time you're gonna have something to trip over for. The person chasing you. You know, we are gonna have the spiritual power. That means we can actually make boombox sound without the uh, electricity. So man, I'm gonna play the I'm gonna play the Jason scene theme. <laughs> <laughs> that 
Y'all gonna be running in fear, man. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Hold on, I, wisdom. I want, I want him to grab this one because you know you got these uh, females out here. You know they're they're, they're cheering. They're cheering off of the death of uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin Samuel because we don't really give a shit about him. Why? Because first of all, he didn't want to get right. He knew about it, the Hebrews rights. He knew about us. Did he want to? Did he want to go towards that? Towards the Heavenly Father? No. He, he wanted to continue making his money. He was a six. He was a six figure man. He was getting that money. He, you know, uh, when he was making videos, he says, "If I don't get my likes up, I'ma play this. I ain't, I ain't playing nothing. You are gonna hear this bullshit music?" And he turned it on. Better get them likes up. Get donations. Come on, give me them donations. You know, all these females be grabbing their bag as soon as they see me. Because you know why? Because their soul is full of thievery. Mm -hmm. So when I look at them, they'd be like, shit, he wants his gold back. Fucking devils. In their spirit, they know. They'd be like, shit, he stole shit from his ancestors. Let me hide all everything that I have. You ain't got money, you broke-ass bitch. But they, Middle once their time comes, they're going to take your soul. I don't want your materials. I'm going to burn you and your materials, man. I don't want your shit. But the fact that you're doing that, hey, a lot of times it's jealousy too, man. Because these devils is jealous that they you don't want it. You don't want them. You're just looking at them, and they jealous. That's that's that, that's one too. Or they just hate. Can you grab that real quick? But this filthy ape, she ain't afraid that I'm gonna steal it. Look, look how many people are here. Nah, they just want to offend you. Yeah. It's not working because you know all I have in my mind is torture chamber. But you gotta understand, they've been doing this shit for, years, for centuries, and they got away with it. So now they're comfortable. They're at ease. Just like the Lord said, y'all at ease. The city with unwalled villages. Y'all at ease. You don't think that anything is going to happen to you. But just like them Egyptians, in the end, they started to get really frightful and afraid because they know that they put their hands on the holy people of the Lord. You see them, you see, that's in the book of Wisdom of Solomon 17 and also in the book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18. There you see that... They, in the back of their mind, they knew that they did wrong because those were the children of the Lord. And they was very frightened. That's the same thing with these Edomites over here, but only the elites. Those are the only ones that actually kind of in fear. Like, hey, shit. They're waking up. Because they know the scriptures. They know the history accounts. They know the battles that we fought. You see, these average people over here, they don't know nothing, man. If they knew, yo... They would be in a totally different mind state than they are right now. They would, they would lick our feet right about now, man. Because you know these people ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? They saw nothing that when a celebrity like Chris Brown walks over here, hey, man, everybody be throwing themselves at that dude. You know what I'm saying? That's how nothing these people are. They worship a person that's actually not even a god. But he's being worshipped as one. He's being worshipped as an idol. You know? Anyway, let me read on. Hold on. Go ahead. You know, like, and then think about with Kevin Samuel, you know, which we don't really care about him. You know, everybody, you know, all these females are celebrating. But guess what? You know, you know, it's like, for example, uh, you know, a brother in his truth, he passed away. They've been rebuking you females. Y'all doing the same thing, man. Y'all doing the same thing. And guess what? When the spiritual powers come along, then you're gonna be in fear, man. You're gonna be, yeah, you're gonna be willing in the day of our power, man. Read that. Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is mine, enemy, shall see it. Yeah, when they, she'll see it. Then she gonna know and understand, like, oh shit. Oh, I, I, I fucked up. You know? Right? And then shame. It's about time to actually perish. It's gonna be a good thing. And shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is, where is the Lord thy power? Mine, mine eyes shall behold her. Now so she's she's gonna she's gonna be like yeah you know because she's gonna be like shame gonna cover her. why because all that time that she been mocking saying where's your God at now where's your God you ain't gonna do shit you ain't gonna do shit nigga you know fuck you bums you know all this all this trash talking guess what shame is gonna cover like in those days man <laughs> you know what I'm saying these proud ass females shame is gonna cover them, man. When I shall behold her, now shall she be trotted down as the, as the mirror of the stress. Myra of the Myra. of the streets. Mire is mud. She shall be stepped upon like the mud. And you know what happens when you step on mud? It squishes out. 
You know what I'm saying? That's how they're gonna be. If you ever, if you ever stepped on, uh, let me see, an insect, that's how the that's how the Jake female is gonna look like. That's how the black female is gonna look like. I just saw a willing participant that walk right here, where they're eating my husband. It don't matter if it's your boyfriend, your crush. Hey, you gonna get crushed. You got a crush on the Edomite when you were six years old? I'm still crushing. But that Edomite love that you had back then. We gonna have a real crush on you. I'm gonna have a real, real, real <laughs> crush on you, man. It's gonna be a beautiful crush too. At least you're gonna die in a few seconds. I mean, like, you're not an Edomite, so we can't really, really, really torture you. I would love to. Step on the chest. Guts everything come out. I'm gonna make your husband kill you. See if he's really about that loyalty. <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful day, but let's go on, man. Yeah, he was, he was, he was done. He was done. Was the Solomon three and eight? They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. Yeah, so they we're gonna judge the people, man. That's what we're doing right now. You know, we are judging the people. You know, you got guys like. Uh, What's his name? I, yesterday, he was listening to some songs. Dave, C, Dave e, uh, East, whatever his name is. Dave yeah, East. Dave East or something. He said, I heard of him. Only, uh, only God can judge me. Nah, man. The police <laughs> just judged your bitch ass a couple of years ago. They, didn't they lock your ass up? Yeah. You, you got sentence and judge, motherfucker. What you that's, talking about? That's, that's Jake these days, man. You know? Hey, the thing is, is that right now, the judges are here right now, man. And that's, a, that's how it's going to be like in the kingdom as well, man. We're going to be kings and priests, man. We're going to judge the earth, man. We're going to sentence you, too. Yeah. Now we're judging you, and your sentence is going to come from the Lord. That's right. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and, and um, the rest of 8. No. Yeah, 8. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace, those that put their trust in the Lord are going to understand this truth, man. Why? Because, you know, the rest of this world, they trust in Esau. Even though everything that, you know, his, his judgment is always changing. His opinions, all these other things, it's always changing, man. His law is always changing. Every week, he come up with a new fucking stupid law or legislation and shit. They got a new law on the works, and we've been talking about this for years now been talking about this for longer than seven years. They got a new law working up, and that law is legalizing pedophilia. We've been talking about it, man. We, t we told you that these devils are going to do it, and they're doing it now, because they're the biggest kitty fuckers upon the planet Earth, and they can't hold back them urges, man. It burns. They're burning their lust for that shit, man. That's why they want to legalize it so that you can't do anything about it. And if you're trying to fight against them, they're going to have the legal system set up to knock your ass down. It's not a just legal system, but it's still a so-called legal system, a law system, their law. They're going to knock your big ass down, man. If you want to do something against a little pedophile or some shit like that, man, they're going to lock your ass up longer than, than the sentence that he will get for, for touching on little children, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that, those are the laws that they're bringing up right now. Meanwhile, they got everybody distracted with that stupid ass thing and uh, with uh, Johnny Depp and all that, that type of nonsense. Yeah, they're passing laws to make pedophilia legal. That LBGQ, whatever the fuck that thing is, man, with the P in the, in, in the back of it. The P doesn't stand for pussy, it stands for pedophile, man. Mm. You know? Because they ain't about no pussy, man. They're about, they're about pee pees and buttholes, man. Assholes and shit. They're about pee pees and buttholes. That, that's what they're about, man. They're about feces. Yeah, about you shit. You know what I'm saying? About shit. Yeah. And see, right, they're the type of people that take shit and, and, and love it on their body like lotion, man. That's why they look like spoiled milk when they, they take their shirt off. Shit too. Yeah. You know? Man, so what the fuck is wrong? You need to go, man. So it says here, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, 3. Wait a minute, uh, he's got to speak. Grab me Isaiah first. Isaiah 10 and 1. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that this decree on righteousness. Woe unto them that the decree on righteousness decrees. On righteous decrees. Woe unto them that decree on righteous decrees. Woe unto them that decree on righteousness. Decrees. Let me, let me see. Right start. Right start. Unrighteous. Unrighteous. Right start. Yeah. Unrighteous. It's unrighteous decrees. Unrighteous decrees. Yeah. Unrighteous. Unrighteous. Yeah. Oh. 
Alright, fuck that car. Uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Right, so woe unto uh, them, meaning destruction for them. They're making unrighteous decrees, these laws. One of them is uh, uh, bringing pedophilia uh, uh, to their forefront, saying uh, this should be legalized, man. They don't want to call it pedophilia no more. They want to call it uh, something with, you know, lesser the, the pain, like child and uh, attraction or something like that. It's like the whores. They want to call them now a uh, sex, uh, uh, yeah, so sex word. I call you a prostitute. I'm offensive. <laughs> it is what it is, right? You are what you are, right? Right. And, that's, and, and, and destruction unto them. Why? Because that's a very harmful act, man. It's a very abominable act, man. It's, it's not, man, you, you really got to be not right upstairs. You really got to be a fucking demon to do that shit, man. You know, and it really shows you that the, the wicked are in rulership, man, as it talks about in Job 9 and 24. Man. It really shows, man. How the hell are you talking about it's normal to have sexual desire for a child. Man. It's a fucking cold of food and stuff. It's some more shit. Yo, when you're on your bike, you feel that there's a there's a wind in the in the back of your things, right? These people, these guys, be, be biking around like a bunch of plumbers, man. They got their pants on like plumbers, man. I saw that twice on motorcycles. I was driving. And motherfucker, hey, all I, I was hey, like, what the fuck, show man? What, what, what are you doing, man? Why are you, what, what? People like this should be put to death instantly, man. You better wear something. We're we going to judge, we gonna judge the nations, man. You know, but then, okay, can you finish that, man? And that right grievousness which they have uh, prescribed. Yeah, man, that right grievousness which they have prescribed, because these laws are very grievous, man. They're very grievous. For one, you know, when you have a child with a female, right? Who has more rights over that child? It's supposed to be your child. It came out of your ball sacks, right? You just plant it inside of her. She comes pop out for nine months, and guess what? She can take your child and, 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 and run off with him. And your house. And, and you your house. Stay in your house. Yep. Stay that in happens. your house and get you kicked out. You know what I'm saying? Those are, those are very grievous laws, man. Unrighteous. Why? Because they ain't fair, man. You know, you got these uh, females, you know, with these, fuck, you, it shows you, it shows you how stupid, stupid females are, man. Yeah, right. It, it, sh it, it shows you how stupid they are. My body, uh, uh, my choice, right? But when the, when the, the, the Maxine came around, you was, you was sitting there talking about, yeah, I need to take it because, you know, um, I want to work or I want to travel. Wait a minute, I thought it was your body, your choice, right? You should be able to fr uh, travel freely anyways. Why the fuck you gotta take the, the, the fucking the jump shot, man? Or to even work. You know what I'm saying? So it's a bunch of hypocrisy, you know what I'm saying? It shows you how stupid they are. Let alone give them fucking power over your child, man. That's why you got a bunch of fucking niggas running around here, man. A bunch of fucking monsters, man. And you know, these, these children, they're, they're out of control, man. Running around here doing all kinds of stupid shit. That's why you see little little girls already dressing like fucking prostitutes like their fucking mother, man. And these are the generations that are being raised, and you want to say that, you know, life is good? This is fucking pure hell, man. And now now, now they want to put on these laws and shit that your children is allowed to have sex, not even sexually active. They don't even know what the fuck sex is, man. They're more worried about playing fucking video games. You want to teach them that they can be a boy or a girl. That a boy can be a girl and a girl can be a boy. These are fucking, hey, hey, some fucking bullshit, man. Fucking bullshit, man. Go ahead. First Corinthians 6 and 1. Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Dare, uh, First Corinthians 6 and 1. Dare any of you, having a matter against another, right. go to law before the unjust and not before the saints? Right. Yeah, man. So, when you have any problems, what do you do? You resort back to the scriptures, man. Before you go to the unjust, man. Because these scriptures are, hey, 100%, man. They're going to guide you on to righteousness, making good judgment, judgments, man. The saints that follow after the law, those are the ones that you should be judged by. He's not going to be biased. He's not going to take bribes. He's not going to pick favor. 
He's not going to look at you like, oh, you're rich or you're poor. He's just going to look at what you did and what you didn't do. And then you will, you will be judged. But these Edomites, if you got a lot of money, like for example, this guy that's the a soccer player here in Holland, Patrick Clafford, right? Now he committed, he, he was a drunken drive and he killed somebody. He never, he never did time for that. You know why? Because the Dutch, they needed him to go and win the, the World Cup. And they did. Because he was in the game. Uh, along with a few others. He got off because he's rich. If that was a normal person, his ass would have been under the jail. But all he had to do was pay a fine. And he was done. You know what I'm saying? Because they needed him to go and win the World Cup. And they did. But the point is that if you have this money and all these lawyers, you can avoid certain things, man. You know? But guess what? He was fucking drunk, man. It shows you how wicked this place is, man, because that also goes into witchcraft. Because what is that What is that so important for him to go play the game? Why is that? That bread and circus, man. And that money. That bread and circus got the people asleep, man. And that money. Don't forget that money. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget that money. Because yeah. if, they, if they are able to pay you 60 million a year, how fucking much money do they have that they are able to pay you 60 million a year? You should think about that. You see, the record deal companies, they get more money than the artists. But you would think that the artists be getting more money. No. Because the record deals go out there and they promote your shit. Because they have money to promote your shit. You know? That's why a lot of people get fucked over by their record deals. Because they, they, they so greedy. They already make more than you. But guess what? They want to make more than you are uh, supposed to get. If you're supposed to get a million... They only want to give you like 200000 they keep you happy. And then they steal the, the 800000 that you were supposed to get. Plus the money that they normally get as a percentage of being your manager or something. I mean your your record deal uh, company, you know what I'm saying? But then uh, let me finish it up. But that, that this also goes uh, to them being prostituted in the industry because when you're in that kind of situation, you're, old. you're always broke. You know, that's why you see these hoes out there. They got fancy clothes and stuff like that. But they're always broke. They're always running back to their pimp for a lot. more shit. And they got to keep up this kind of standard of living, you know what I'm saying, to show everybody that they have something, but really they don't have shit. A lot of entertainers die broke. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? They make you think that they got money, but the record deals got everything. That's why they was fighting for Tupac's money and stuff like that, man. Because Tupac's family was saying, like, he died broke. Why? He didn't die broke, my man. He died filthy rich, but all his money got stolen. That's it's a difference between dying broke and dying, but being stolen on. But anyway, also Rick Ross said in, in, uh, in his, one of his songs, he was uh, when he grew up, he thought all the his payments like was Russia. free. <laughs> yeah, he works also. Yeah, that uh, he was thinking they were rich, and when he grew up in the industry, then he uh, realized that they were broke. He was like, yo, you're just disappointed me. Right. Saying all, everything on your record deals, like you're rich, living the lifestyle that you're living. And then he found out they were broke. So Rick, Rick Ross, he, he is living that life, though. Yeah. He got a big ass. Right. So, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse. Chapter 3, verse. 9. But they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he had care for his elect. Grace and mercy unto the saints, man. Unto the saints. The Israelites, man. And it's talking about a particular group because out of Israel, not all Israel is of Israel, man. Okay? This is concerning the, the, the 144. The elect, man. And the ones that are made up in, in America, in the uniform multitude. The ones that have been ordained to be salvation are going to be the ones that are really going to return to the Heavenly Father and keep us safe, man. But the rest of our people, man, they are on some bullshit, man. Straight up bullshit, man. Verse 10. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. Right, so who, can, ne who, who can neglect the truth, man? Only of, of Israel. Two-thirds, okay? Two-thirds, if you like to say. 
you're going to be cast out as dumb, man. You're going to be rewarded for all the wickedness that you've done, man. Along with Esau. That, yeah, along with Esau, man. The scriptures say, though hand join the hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished, man. So you're going to receive that, <laughs> that judgment, man. There's no escape, because guess what? The, the judgment is going to be in the house of this one, man. Verse That's 11. where judgment is going to start. Verse 11. For whoso despiseth wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is in vain. Their labor is unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. For whoso despiseth wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is in vain. Their labor is unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. Yeah, man, so They're, those that despise the wisdom is miserable, man. Why? Because, I mean, everything that you're doing on this earth, there's, there's a catch, there's a trap that you were caught up in, man. You know? And you're trying to always find a way out. That's why you see a lot of our people uh, uh, doing heavy on drugs, Percocets, cocaine, crack, weed. You didn't have that back in the days, by the way. Yeah. When I was growing up, we know that cocaine was, a, was an Edomite drug. Yep. We know that ecstasy was an Edomite drug. We know that all these stuff, especially here, you know what I'm saying, the younger ones. I mean, I'm talking about the young ones. We didn't believe in that shit. But nowadays, I just met dudes, not just, but I met dudes, Jake's, he's sniffing coke, man. Because they are eating my friends nowadays, man. Back in the days when we was growing up, we didn't do that shit. We would only smoke weed. Rarely hash, man. We don't smoke that neither. Because they put stuff in hash, too. Which you can't see, because hash, you gotta melt it down. And you can't see anything. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, me personally, I saw, uh, I smelt. And I saw cocaine came off of hash, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they mix it in, they make you hooked. The Arabs do that when they sell it to you. The Moroccans, they, they put a layer of cocaine, or they mix it with a little bit of heroin, I mean. Heroin. And that's the same color, you know? And you keep coming. You keep coming back, man. So we stayed away from that thing, man. Hash. Stay away from that brown thing, man. Every Anything that we smoked was green. But nowadays, like I said, you got Jake's popping pills, sniffing on coke, shooting up, smoking black. That means you put the crack in the weed. You got, man, I seen dudes do that shit, man. I'm like, yo, y'all some, y'all some new people, right? Y'all some new in the generation. Anyway, haven't you seen the crack or crack epidemic, man? Probably wasn't it. wasn't there. Wasn't even born yet. But still, you know what I'm saying? Right. What's up? The eight, that was the Asia. But still, we, we what, like the 90s, no, the 80s is when it began, and ain't nobody actually turned into a crackhead yet. It was in the 90s, 10 years later, then you just start seeing people scratching up, like uh, Tyrone Biggins, man. America. Got the white lips and shit like that. Here you saw either, uh, Jake's in the metro shooting up, smoking bubble up, smoking water, you know, but anyway. In America, was, in the 80s, was very heavy. Why known as the 80s babies was pretty much the crack babies. Crack babies, you know? Mama was a crackhead, dad was in jail. Because that was very heavy back in them times. They put the crack cocaine and, 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 and uh, 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 little Kiki on the street. Don't know how to fucking whip up no fucking crack cocaine from, from cocaine, man. It was taught by who? By these Edomites, man. Right? Verse 12, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 12. Their wives are foolish and their children wicked. Their offspring is cursed. Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled, which had not known the sinful bed. She shall have fruit in the visitation of souls. And blessed is the eunuch, which with his hands had wrought no iniquity, nor imagined wicked things against the Most High. For unto him shall be given the special gift of faith, and an inheritance in the temple of the Lord more acceptable to his mind. Let me read it again. So it says here, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 2, 3 and 12, Their wives are foolish, and their children wicked. That's what you get when you are of the unrighteous, the ungodly. Their offspring is cursed, wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled. In this time, could you give me that in Matthew 24 where it says that, in, um, uh, uh, you, you, that, that, that you ain't got no children? 
blessed in that time. Bless all the wounds. We ain't got no uh, children to peps for the peps. You know, you know, you know, you know where? No, no, I just want this. You know where that one is? Matthew 24, one says so from. Uh, yeah, uh, oh yeah, to 4, 19, right? Yeah. And move on to them that are. This is Matthew 24, 19. You know, get the camera. Okay. And move on to them that are with child. And to them that give suck in those days. Because in that time, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be a very messed up thing for you to have children in those days, man. And if you have babies in those days, which need sucking. Because in the time of war, you don't want to be stuck around with children. Because let's say you need to hide. And you tell your children start getting hungry and start blaring. You done. You done for. You can't tell the baby be quiet. The baby wouldn't even understand what you're talking about. And even if they did, they can't be quiet. This is it's about, you know, let's say if you're a grown ass person and you fall, because I saw this Edomite, he was drunk on the bike and then he fall, fell and he scraped his whole face. He didn't cry. If that was a child, that child would be that child would be screaming uncontrollably. Because they can't they can't they can't cope with it. They can't understand to uh, be quiet and stuff like that. It's not in there. It's a child. You can't blame him. But in the because this was speaking of the, of the time of war. And now, this is speaking, what, sorry, what I just read, is also speaking about that same type of situation. So it says here. Um, I, got, I got also a precept real quick that I could read. Second uh, Ezra chapter 15. We start at verse uh, 56. Six. Like as thou hast <laughs> like done unto my chosen, saith the Lord, even so shall the Most High do unto thee. And shall deliver thee into mischief. Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. So that's that's, that's why we wouldn't want no children in the time of war, because that's what's going to happen to your children. But if the heavenly Father protects you, yeah, you're still going to be you, you're still going to be protected. But still, you wouldn't want that because Yahushai said, "Blessed are the ones that are have no children." You know, it doesn't mean that if you have children that you automatically going to lose your children. But the possibility might be there. He might be one of the wicked ones that need to die. It's not, listen, man. It doesn't matter if you are this up and top great teacher and stuff like that. You keep the law to the best of your perfecty. You know what I'm saying? If you have a son or a daughter that's just wicked, hey, man. You can't, you can't, you can't. Well, what you gonna do? You can't, you can't brainwash him. He, he's already brainwashed him. The television, the society and stuff like that. But anyway. So it says here, Thy city shall be broken down, and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. That's what's going to happen, man. And it's going to happen to Esau also. But guess what? It's going to happen to our people because the Lord said, Begin at my sanctuary. So the sanctuary of the Lord is the one that's going to die the first, which is the ones that know about this truth, which is the ones that be feasting in the strip houses and stuff like that on the Pasha. Talking about that the elders don't lost the oil. Have you heard that video, man? These Sakari dudes, they say the elders lost the oil. Oh. Meanwhile, they never had the oil to begin with in the first place. What you talking about, they lost the oil? You're full of, you're full of feces, my man. You're the, you, you're the dude that said you can have sex on the Sabbath. Meanwhile, it literally says, with the pleasures that come with sleep. And it says, thou shalt have not thy own pleasure upon the Sabbath day. So, the pleasures that come with sleep is sex. So, pleasure is sex. What are you talking about, Willis? You don't know what you're talking about, man. Give me that in Isaiah 58, where it says, in, uh, Keep thee a pleasure away, do not do thy own pleasure. Uh, 58, and thou not wisdom of Solomon 201. But anyway, the other one that we would just, oh yeah, oh yeah, sorry, this one. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, verse uh, 13. Your offspring is cursed. This goes for the ungodly. They might have a lot of children, but they're still cursed. They might seem prosperous, but they still can't, can't move your feet. Well, but they, seem, they, they, they still seem prosperous. So it says here, Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is on the foul. See, a lot of these Jake females, they think like they need children in this world, that they need to have it. Once you in this truth, the Heavenly Father said, Blessed are you, for you are barren, meaning you can't get children. A lot of people think like, oh, I'm cursed because I, I can't get it, it, it shouldn't really there's a lot of people that, there's a lot of Jake, uh, daughters of Jacob, they think that the, 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 how you call that thing? Uh, 
that's why we gonna kill all the merchants up on the planet of once that time comes through. Anyway, so it says here, because because cause everybody, if, if if somebody wants something, they gonna get gonna come to you. You don't need to fucking call them. That's why we don't call nobody. You come or you don't. We don't stand here trying to gather up sheep. No, we're fishing. We throw, we wait, you bite, we roll you in, or we throw a net. Anyone that's caught in the net will come here, listen, and, and, and if not, and then anyway. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, you have a lot of women that are barren, like the daughters, a lot of daughters of Jake, they're barren, and they might think like, oh, I'm cursed. No, the Heavenly Father said you're blessed. Why? You don't want children in this time, man. You know, so it says here, uh, wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled. Yeah, the ones that are undefiled. Because I know what, hey, girl, he's so poor, man. We need one, man. He kills some fucking students. He doesn't man. So it says here, on, um, so uh, you have a lot of females that are barren, and they say, like, and, um, and they, and, 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 but are defiled. Because a lot of females that are barren, what are they doing? They know they can't get pregnant, so now they let everybody bust a nut up in them. They do a filthy shit. You have females like that. They know they can't get pregnant, right? So when a guy wants to have sex with a condom, she's like, oh, don't worry, I can't get pregnant. Just bust up in me. Because that's what they desire, man. You know, which is, which is the fault. So it says here, Wherefore, blessed is the barren that is undefiled, which had not known the sinful bed. She shall have fruit in the vegetation of souls. And blessed is the eunuch, which, which with his hands had brought no iniquity, nor imagined wicked things against the Heavenly Father. Yeah, because if you're a eunuch, you might get angry, man. You might get, you start to get fucking pissed off, man. You know? So it says here, nor imagine wicked things against the Heavenly Father. For unto him shall be given the special gift of faith, and an inheritance in the temple of the Lord, more acceptable of his mind. So you're going to get an inheritance, man. So, for the eunuchs, the brothers that are in this troop and have no children, the Heavenly Father said he's going to give you a special gift. You're going to get a real gift, and you're going to get a place in the kingdom more acceptable to your mind. So the Mosai is going to form your surroundings according to your mind, which is a special gift, man. You know, you're going to be different than the rest. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, keep on having that faith. Give me that in uh, Isaiah 65. Because the eunuchs, the eunuchs in this truth are going to get a blessed, they're going to get a blessed uh, a gift, man. You know what I'm saying? A eunuch means basically ones that refrains from sex. Now you have three type of eunuchs. You have the eunuch that is born that way, he's impotent, he can't get a, he can't get a stiffy. And then you have the other eunuch that is castrated by men. And then you have the other eunuch that that turned himself eunuch in the, in, in, in the sight of the Lord, meaning he refrains from sex, sexual activities. That's what the apostle Paul did. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, he said, I would I'd rather you be like me, being abstained from women. Right? Do you have it? Uh, what Matthews, did, right? Yeah, but what did I tell you to get? Isaiah 65. Isaiah 68. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Give me the 65. Start at 1. Isaiah 65, verse 1. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, Behold. 56. 56. Yeah, 56. 56. 56. Isaiah 56, verse 1, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Keep ye, like, keep ye judgment and do justice. Right. For my salvation is near to come. Yeah, we are near. We are, we are very close to that salvation. Go on. And my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doeth this. Right. And the son of man that lieth hold on it. That lay hold on it. Layeth. And the son of, of man that layeth hold on it. Layeth hold on what? Now hold on this word of the Lord. You lay hold to this word. It's invisible, but still you can hold on to it. Go on. That keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it. Keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it. How do you pollute the Sabbath? By having sex on the Sabbath. Having pleasures on the Sabbath. So give me that one. This is a... Uh, Isaiah 58 and uh, 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath of the light, the holy of the Lord, of the Lord honorable, and shalt honor him, not doing thine own ways. Not doing your own ways. It's having sex your own ways, yes. It's, it's uh, playing, playing games is your own ways, yes. It's watching movies your own ways, yes. 
Is, is listening to music your own ways? Yes. Do you have pleasure in all those things that I just mentioned? Then yes. And you can say, oh, I have no pleasure in it. I'm just, I'm just doing it for distraction. And guess what? You're still doing it, man. Just don't, don't, don't try to justify yourself with certain things. If you can, you can. If you can't, pray that you can. So go on. Cool. And shall honor him, not doing thine own ways, mm -hmm. nor finding thine own pleasure, right. nor speaking thine own words. Right. So don't be talking about bitches and hoes on the, on the Shabbat. Don't be talking about cars and all that, that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, trying, to, trying, to, trying to pleasure your eyes with booties and shit. Trying to look at naked pictures talking about, I'm not having sex. But you're still looking at sexual thoughts, sexual uh, explicit things. Which would conjure up sexual thoughts. Conjure up sexual thoughts. Go on. Um, then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth. Yet again. Go on. And feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. That's what we want. For the mouth of the Lord had spoken it. For the mouth of the Lord had spoken it. So, is he a man that he should like in the wisdom of Solomon 7? He's not a man that he should lie. So if he says you're going to get the delights of the earth, you're going to get the blessings of your father Jacob, then that is what you're going to get. Right? And uh, here again with the pleasures, what does the pleasure mean? Give me that. Okay. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 1. Myself also am a mortal man, like to all and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. Adam. Okay. Exactly. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of ten months. How? Being comp compacted in blood with what? of the seed of man right, sperm. and the pleasure that came with sleep. The pleasure that came with sleep is sex. The seed of man, give me that in uh, Leviticus 15 and 16. And also, so once you bust that nut, you're unclean. So guess what? You cannot have, uh, you, you can't have no pleasure upon the Sabbath. Because it says, with the pleasures that come with sleep, that's sex. Compacted in blood, right? That's sex. Leviticus what? 15 and 16. Oh yeah. Good. This is Leviticus chapter 15 verse 16. And if any man's seed of copulation go out from him, sperm, then he shall wash all his flesh in right. water. Why? And be unclean until the even. That's why. Because you busted a nut, you're unclean. That's why you gotta wash yourself. So, if you have sex on the Sabbath, you are not making it honorable, like the Lord said in Isaiah 58, verse, uh, what was it, 13? Uh, what, yeah, what he just uh, read, what he just read, yeah. it says that he, would, it says that he would be honorable, keep that day honorable. There's no thing in being unclean and then honorable. You're not honorable, so you're unclean. So there goes your whole nonsense talking about you can have sex on the Sabbath, which is one of the new doctrines of Sakari, man. And these are the things that you're leading people to astray, uh, astray with. You're leading the sheep to some GMO fluoridated water, man. Some stagnant water with a lot of insects in it and diseases, man. We 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 trying to lead them to that great water with the with the, with the non-GMO grass. You know what I'm saying? We don't feed our sheep mice. You don't feed your sheep mice. You don't feed your sheep beef or or some cooked up chicken. You don't do that. You know who you give that? You give a horse mice. Or you give a, a eagle, you give him raw meat, or some cooked up chicken, whatever you want. Man. You don't give you don't give a chicken chicken. That's cannibalism. <laughs> right? Finish the Isaiah 56. Give me the Exodus chapter 19, verse 14. And Moses went down from Mount unto the people and sanctified the people, and they washed their clothes. And he said unto the people, Be ready. In third day, in come third not day. at your wife. Come not at your wife, meaning don't have sex with your wife, or else you're gonna be unclean. So if you have if you have sex with your wife, you're gonna be unclean for if, if when you wanna pres present yourself for the Lord, you're gonna be unclean for three days. So how can you be having sex on the Shabbat? That's why a priest, uh, 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 sorry, a, uh, a deacon and a bishop is supposed to have only one wife. You know why? Because you need to have sex with your wife, or else she is allowed to leave. And in order for you to have multiple wives, that means you need to have multiple times sex a, 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 a week. How are you going to do the deeds when you need to be clean in order to give the sacrifice unto the Lord? You can't be unclean trying to sacrifice turtle doves and stuff like that. Trying to sacrifice lamb. You need to be put to death along with that lamb. 
You can't even show your inner thighs when you walk up to the altar or else you need to be put to death. So how much more when you have a sexual act upon you? You just busted a nut. You might be now wicked, like I say dumb shit, like, okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna have sex, but I'm not gonna bust a nut. I'm just gonna keep that semen redemption shit. You're gonna be, you're gonna be put to death for that, man. Because now you're trying to trick the Lord. He sees what you're doing. Oh, you're trying to keep it clean, talking about he ain't gonna bust a nut. What, what if you, what about her? But it doesn't say anything about her, by the way. They might use that. Because the same Sakari group is saying now that in the, it doesn't say in the, in the scriptures that you cannot have sex on the Sabbath. Just like the elder apostle of Aram Love said, it doesn't say in the scripture that you can grab a dildo and jump uh, ju as a man and jump on it and, and basically twist yourself upon it, man. It doesn't say that in the scriptures. But are you going to do it? Are you going to lubricate the dildo and fuck yourself? No, you're not. Because you know it ain't right. It's not for a man to be doing d d d disgusting shit like that. It's not even for a woman to be doing disgusting things like that. Think about it. You're having a plastic in your pussy. Why don't you go get a, ma a real man? Husband. Why don't you go get a real flesh and bone? Because Esau got you on that uh, on that uh, money type thing, whereas you can make your money, you can watch porn, you can get off. Because if, uh, if you take all the dildos from the world, these females would be begging for sex. Because that finger ain't going to really do it all the time. You take away all the, the, the equipments wherewith they can actually fuck themselves. And if, if, if they go to the store and buy a cucumber, you need, you, need, you need the person to go to their house and see if she really cuts up that cucumber for food. Because I've seen videos what what females do with vegetables, man. Have you seen that one with the Jake female in the car uh, beating on a fucking cucumber, man? It was so grocious, I had to look that shit up, man. That's how good it looked. Horrible. The fact that I had, that I did that is, is just... But she had a just... It was a vegetable. It was just a vegetable. You know, I, I can look it up. Can you, can, can you, read, can you read the rest? Yeah. Isaiah 56, verse 2 again. Blessed is the man that doeth this, and the son of man that layeth hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it, and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Neither let the son of the stranger that hath joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated, separated me from his people. Neither let the Enoch eunuch. Say, eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. For thus saith the Lord unto the Eunuch, eunuchs that keep my Sabbath and choose the things that please me and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in mine house and within my walls a place and a name better than of sons and of the daughters. So that's what the eunuch is going to get. And that goes for the barren daughters of Israel too. The ones that stay in this truth. The ones that have faith in this truth. Fucking damn it. There's, there's, a, there's a gif, there's a gif or something like that of a black female sucking up on a cucumber in a car. One of your brothers showed it to me one time. I don't want to see that. But now I'm trying to show it for that. You can't erase that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, you see some fucking disgusting shit. You can't erase that shit, man. It's not like a computer, you can't just delete it and be like, oh, let me erase this. This shit is live dormant inside your mind, man. Man, she was sucking on that cucumber like a fucking pro, man. Beyond, beyond anybody that you've ever seen. Well, that I have ever seen, I'll say that. And the bitch is being glorified with it, man. Her name is Mini or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Some Jake female in a car. She was sucking up on a cucumber, man. You know what? Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Anyway, if you see a female do this, you start questioning them. 
You already know what she's gonna do with those cucumbers. <laughs> Look how she's dressed. Anyway, can you go on, man? I can't find it. Bruce Fox. What's it? 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 What's yeah, basically the eunuch is going to get some beautiful and uh, the pleasures that come with sleep is just that, the sex. So you can't have sex on the Sabbath, man. If you bust a nut, you're unclean, you know? And just like this brother had Daphne read, 2 Corinthians 6 and 3, be thou blameless. So if you cause, to be, if you cause the, another brother to have, go have sex on the Sabbath, you cause that man to sin and therefore you're the blame. But the scripture says be thou blameless. But you're not blameless. Can you give me that one second with you? Stay in six. Six and three. Second Corinthians chapter six, verse three, and it reads, giving no offense in any like giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Yeah, the ministry shouldn't be blamed, man. You shouldn't look at the elder apostles in their ministry, the, the men that are under them, the elder, the elder apostles on them. They should not be looked at with the with the, any fault to be blamed. Like, hey, he caused me to have sex on the Sabbath, or he caused me to, uh, you know, go to the strip club on the Pasha, after the Pasha, the after party. You know what I'm saying? You should, they shouldn't be looked at like that. And you are at the side, they aren't. But you want to have that uh, power seat. What's up? Fuck. You want to have that power seat, which is an, which is not a which is not a, a status that you should desire. You should desire a lower status. Give me that in Luke four. Luke fourteen and. Fourteen and seven. Luke fourteen and seven. And and he put forth a parable to those which were bidden. When he marked when he marked how they close out the chief rooms, saying unto them, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the in the highest room. Lest when you are called to a wedding, don't go and sit at the best spot in that wedding or in that feast, whatever, wherever, I mean. But this, in this case, is a wedding. But guess what? We are at the wedding, according to Matthew 22. Bid every man to the wedding of the Lord, for the wedding is about to come, and, and Yahweh Shai is about to come and be married unto his chaste virgins. So, don't come up in this truth talking about, I'm going to get a higher status than the elder apostles. Why would you even think of that? That shows you that your mind ain't correct. But that's the same way that Elazar is coming in. He coming in this status talking about he's the higher one. You ain't the higher one. Our elders is the higher one. They taught us. And now we talk to the people. Why, why do you want to steal their seat? This is what the Lord is going to do unto people like you. Get Matthew 22 already. Yeah, he, he got it. Read on. Lest a more hum, uh, honorable, yeah, uh, an honorable man that thou be bidden of him. Yes, less, less, it says here, less a more honorable man than thou be bidden of him. So, like I said, when you are called into this truth, as you were, Alizé, Alizar, call yourself high priest and stuff like that. Just, just like how you was called, everybody else was called, including the other apostles, which you say now, that have lost the oil. So guess what? They are called, and they are put in high seats. You are called. But now you want to go and sit and sit where they actually supposed to be sitting. They're not sitting yet, by the way. You already want to sit down. They're standing, teaching his word. And when Yahawashai comes, he is the one that called us all, right? He's the one that will say, oh, you, you can sit here 
and you, you can sit there. But you, Elazar, you already took a place. You already went down and sat down and be like, I'm the chief high priest. Uh, this is my seat. Not knowing that that seat is already destined for another man. The reason I say destined is because I know you're not supposed to sit where you are sitting right now. You're sitting in the in the in the, in the place of a chief high priest. That's what you call it. That's what you call yourself, chief high priest. I would be dead set fear, in, in 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 fear to call myself the high priest, the chief high priest. I'd be scared to death. You know you know what what scripture would would come to mind? Give me James three and one. This is the scripture that would come to mind. Uh, a total fear. Now, this is uh, James chapter 3 verse 1. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. I'm already done. That's, that's what I need. That's, 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 the, that's the scripture that I need to put, to put the fear of God in me. I'll be like, you know what? I don't think I want their high status. Hey, you, 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 you can go. No, 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 I don't want to go. No, but no, you, you, you go, you go. I was saying, you go. That's what I would say. I would be like, no, you can go. I'm sitting in the background. Leaders first. I'm in the background, my man. And when you in the background, all of a sudden the Lord comes and says, you, you there in the back. Who, me? <laughs> talking to me? You talking to me? Come here. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Come over here. <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody in this room talking to you. You start to sit back in the background. You start to go low like shit, man. Call me. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> you, you, talking, you talking to me? You talking to me? <laughs> you know what I'm That's what we would do. You know? But you're the one. You sit in the front. And look, Yahweh Shai dead in his face talking about this is my seat. Just like how Yahweh Shai said, give me that in the book of Matthew 18. Was it Matthew 18 where it says that, uh, that uh, the disciples came unto him, then he said, uh, Wait, thou shalt surely. Uh, wait, let me see. Hey, where's the scripture that said uh, there were two brothers that came to Yahweh Shai and they said, Can I sit at your right hand? That you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he said, It is not for me to choose. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know. Oh! children to Yahweh Shai. And the mother said, can one, can my son sit on your right hand and on your left? Um, wait, 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 wait I'm, I'm mixing two stories. It's uh, Mark 10. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark 10. It, it was in Matthew 20. <laughs> it was in Matthew 20 and 21. Give me the one from Mark 10. Mark 10 and um, 40. I thought it was in Matthew too, right? I, 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 knew, I knew it was in Matthew. Mark 10? Yeah, Mark 10 and 40. Yeah, this is uh, Mark. Go up a little bit. God, this is Mark chapter 10, verse uh, 38. But Yahweh Shai said unto them, You know what he asked. Can you drink? Go, go a little bit up. God. 36. Mark 10 and 36. And he said unto them, Wait, 30, 35. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee. Oh, yeah, this was about James and John, but the other one was about the mother. Give me that in uh, Matthew 20 and 20. Hope that after this one and read it. This is the same thing, but this this case is uh we're going go on. God, so this is Mark chapter 10, verse 35. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come unto him, saying, Master, we would we would thou shouldest do we shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. And he said unto them, What would ye that I should do for you? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit 
one of thy one on thy right hand and the other on thy left hand in thy glory. But Yahushai said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And they said unto him, We can. <laughs> and Yahushai said unto them, Ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of. Right, which is that punishment which we had to go to, but over a thousand years. A couple of thousand years. Because since two thousand since two thousand years ago we've been suffering. So they kinda drank of that cup in measures. Yahushai drank it in one day. So go on. Come. But Yahushai said unto them, Ye know not wait. But Yahushai said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. And they really didn't. Because they can't drink of that cup. But but to a certain degree they kinda kinda did. Because the Lord said, the he who was not uh, uh, supposed to drink of that cup have surely drunk in it, my chosen. The nation of Israel have drunk of that cup. As it says in the book of uh, Jeremiah, let me get that real quick. It was, uh, he who was not supposed to drink of that cup have surely drunk it. Which is uh, Jeremiah chapter 40, in 49, wait, let me see. 49 and 12. So it says here, Jeremiah 49 and 12. For thus saith Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not the drink of the cup have for surely drunken. And art thou he that, all sh that shall altogether so uh, go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So that goes for Esau. But Jacob as a whole nation has drunken of that cup. Basically, it's the, sa the same thing with Yahweh Shai said, that we will drink. <laughs> so we did drink it. But we didn't understand what we was talking about. Especially th these two brothers. But go on, reading. Um, um, and with the baptism that I am baptized with all, shall ye be baptized. Right. And, and, and we went to that baptism. But we, the sit... We got, we got doped in blood. Okay. And whippings and ass kickings and shit, slavery. Go on. And we had that whip too. Go on. Go on. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. That's the point. The point is you're putting yourself in the power seat, calling yourself Chief Priest al -Azhar. You should not dare to call yourself the Chief Priest, man. But then again, you have the balls. You got more balls than me. Can you go back to the to the other one? Matthew 20 and 20. Oh uh, yeah. Matthew 20 and 20. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee, Seb uh, Zebedee's uh, children with her sons, right. worshipping him. Oh, it's the same story, yeah. <laughs> and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? She said unto him, Grant that these mine two sons may sit, the one on the right hand, and the other on the left, in thy kingdom. But Jehoshaphat answered and said, Ye know not what ye, what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of, and to be baptized with the, bapti uh, the baptist that I, may, that I may be baptized with? Right. They say unto him, We are able. And he said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup. And be baptized with the baptism that I that I am baptized with. But um, but to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to to give. It's only of the Lord. But, so it is of the Lord. But it shall be given to them for whom it it is prepared of my Father. So that's the point. So you putting yourself in the power seat. That's not a good idea, man. You might be sitting there calling yourself high priest. Now, not might. You are. But somebody else will come and, and Yahweh, no, let me say it better. Yahweh Shai will come and smack you off of that seat and then you're going to be put to shame and then somebody else is going to be put there in that seat. That's what's going to happen. So go back to where we were. Which was, uh, what, Matthew what? Where yeah, Matthew, uh, Mark, right? Where I was at. No, 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 no. The, the ones that we, we already read, uh, Luke 14. Luke 14, read it. And then hold the Matthew 22. <laughs> he was reading Luke 14. Uh, yeah, yeah, right? Luke 
14 and uh, started 7. Luke 14 and 7. And he put forth a parable to those which were bidden. Oh yeah, which were called to the wedding. And we are at that wedding right now. So you can use these scriptures in infinite type of uh, situations, scenarios, which I'm using it right now. And this scenario that I'm using it in is to show you that we are now being bid to the feast. Don't try to make yourself a high priest. Don't try to put yourself up in a status where you don't belong. And even if you do belong there, he that uh, lower himself shall be uh, shall be exalted, and he that exalted himself shall be abased. You're going to be put in the basement, my man. You don't want to be in the basement. We already should be thinking of you like, hey, man, you're going to be called one of the least in the kingdom because you be teaching men to have sex on the Sabbath. And Yahweh said, Matthew 5 and 17 on down 18 and 19, says that, hey, if you teach men, if you break one of these least commandments and teach men so, ye shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. I would be scared to death to try to teach somebody something that I, I, I'm not sure of. But then again, you are sure of what you're teaching, so hey, should I knock you for that? Of course I will, because you're wrong. But according to yourself, you're right. You know? Just because you're right in your head doesn't mean you're right in the scriptures. Talking about, it doesn't say you can't have sex on the Sabbath in the scriptures. It doesn't say that black people are, are Israelites. Or the so-called Negroes are Israelites. It doesn't say America's Babylon. It doesn't say America's Babylon. But where do you get that from? You get the indication. So, the same way you should get the, ind you get the indication of America's Babylon, is the same way you should get the you should get the indication that having sex is pleasure and thus pleasure on the Sabbath is not allowed. I mean, if you bust a nut, you're unclean. What are you talking about? You can't do that then. But then again, according to your fragile mind, you are the greatest, right? You're the greatest, right? You're you're the high chief priest. This is Matthew's chapter five, verse seventeen. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Nor to take away nor to take away books. He came to fulfill all books. He didn't come to take away the book of Hebrews. And and this this mark, this uh, this disrespect mark. And Paul. For, for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so. You'll be teaching people to break to break the Shabbat commandment, go on. He shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Listen man, you are not even allowed to pick up uh, sticks on the Shabbat, actually. You already need to be put to death. How much more if you start plowing? That's plowing is working, man. You're, you're, you're at the job right now. You're at the job, man. You're working. You know what I'm saying? You're a husbandman. A husbandman means a planter of the vineyard. So when you're having sex with your wife, you're being a planter of your seed. And where? The earth. So therefore, you're at, you're at the job, man. And plus, it makes you unclean. You would rather go pick up sticks than have sex on the Sabbath. Or let me say it better. You, you should rather go buy food on the Sabbath than actually kindle up a fire and cook the food yourself. If you're really that hungry. Let's say you went to, it takes more work. Let's say you went the job. You know what I'm saying? You hit the streets at 6 o'clock. And you know you need to sleep about 9 o'clock because you know you got to work in the morning again. Fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's not actually wise to actually then go down and, uh, you know, start making food for yourself. Because you're going to be later, you're going to be done later than 9 o'clock. What's the best thing to do is pray to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, for Salah, and then you just buy some food, and then you, you buy it, and you eat it, and then you hit the sack. You know what I'm saying? Next day, sundown, you know what I'm saying? Then, uh, hey, then you can start cooking again. But, hey, yes, sir. But, uh, can you go on? And it reads, but whoso shall, that's like it, what? But whosoever shall do this and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. That's why we teach, we, we do the laws and we teach them. In order to be called great. Not just for that. Just, it feels good. Remember that song back in the day? That was the joint, man. But anyway, can you go on? Luke, Luke, 14. Back to Luke 
14 and 7. Starting from the top again. And he put forth a parable to, to, to those which were bidden. When he marked how they choose out the chief rooms, saying unto, saying unto them, When thou art bidden of any man, man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room. We are now being bid at the, at the wedding, man. The wedding is the wedding of the Lord. Give me that image. We are at the wedding of the Lord now. Now, we're bidding the guests to come and eat of the supper of Yahweh Shai. And you're being bid to it, including you, Elazar. Including you. What's it, Elazar? Elazar? Yeah, it's Elazar. Including you, Elazar. And your men on them. But we ain't talking to you, you men. You know why? Because if we talk to Elazar and he changed, then all y'all gonna change too. So, like why like, like the Russians say, fish rise from the head. Yeah. So why would we then try to teach or, 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 or on, uh, aim our target at uh, the rest of the individuals? There's a lot of people on the Sakari. We just aim at one. You know, take their head off and the rest will scatter. Look at that group that's with XX Extension right now. That so-called rapper that got himself smoked in the car. Look at that group right now. They done. They so whack. That one of them Chinese dudes that was in the group is lying that he had chest cancer. He's lying that he got shot in the neck. Meanwhile, he was at the airport and then he slipped and fell and hit his fucking chin on the on the stone. Then he needed stitches for that. But then he came on Instagram talking about I got shot. Now she was real gangster like I'm real. And then his friends ratted him out. They was like, Nah, man, you lying, man. I ain't gonna protect you on this lie. You know what I'm saying? Cause the other lie, they didn't say anything. The lie about that he had chest cancer. And then he said, pray for me. And then seven weeks later, he said, I got cured from the chest cancer. Thank you for your prayers. Dudes was like, yo, what the fuck are you lying for, man? You ain't got no chest cancer. What you talking about, man? <laughs> so they caught him with two lies. And then he came online talking about, please give me some likes. Give me some likes. They dying for likes, bro. Just like that guy, Kevin Samuels. I hate people like that. I ain't trying to talk bad about him, but I always hated people that did this. He's dead, you, you know that. Yeah, right? I know that, yeah. I heard about it today. Hey, I heard about man. it. I didn't expect that. Bro. I did not expect that neither. I saw they it as I was like, they did probably make a joke. We already know what he did. He's very healthy. He took the jump hey. shot. Hey! And swish. Yeah, what? you think, Russell? Bro, man, what you scared for? Huh? What are you doing? I'm, we already uh, know what's up. parable, man. My man. Anyway, but then uh, the thing is like this, he, he was playing basketball, he's, he's one of the frontliners. Now he's playing play with Kobe, now he's playing with Kobe. Kobe! Kobe! Playing with Kobe. Bet you, he tall too. He, he's, in, he's in a two meter. Yeah, he tall too, man. Benjamin, I think. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, as I was saying, what was I, what was I saying again? Before I uh, rudely into uh, scare. Like that. Yeah, that's when they play a video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they play a video, then they stop the video and they say, I ain't playing it. I ain't playing the video further until I get a lot of likes. I'll be like, well, fuck you, man. I'm gonna take your shit, copy it, and put it online for free. I don't like that shit, man. Because they're trying to make money, trying to, they ain't trying to educate you, man. They're trying to teach you something. Not educate, I mean teach. Because education is what you do, the panels. And, um, Children, child rearing. That's had, educated. He had, uh, he had, uh, what's her name? Uh, that rapper girl. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Brittany Renner? No, not Kill Kim, but the other one. Uh, Nicki Minaj. I think it was Nicki Minaj hmm? he had on the video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking yeah. with Nicki Minaj. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, he was talking the video with the future. Yeah, he was making videos with the celebrities. He was, yeah. he was getting up there, man. He was yeah. getting a name for himself, but he wanted to actually make the females. Uh, back, put them back in their place. Esau wasn't having that shit, man. He was like, what the fuck? All this work we done did, and this clown comes here and starts brainwashing these females, not according to our needs and deeds? Oh, hell no. In order to travel, just like DMX, in order to travel, you need to do something, Kevin. And then he did. Probably offered him a, a, a They offer. offered him a... You can't a, refuse. A, a pass. <laughs> you know, they, like a mafia dude. They offered him a passport. But he was getting on men too, man. Yeah, he man. wasn't only, only getting on women, man. 
He's trying the, only, to make, the, the only ones that had a problem with it, of course, were the women because uh, dudes too, man. I can't say anything. I saw some dudes there was pissed off at them too, man, because they, they they be sucking on female toes, man. You know what I'm saying? Licking it clean after the nut of the other guy was was busted upon the toes. You know what I'm saying? Then then they start licking it. <laughs> yeah. Put some chocolate on that motherfucker too. You know what I'm saying? That's, hey, that's that's a bad way to go. Man. That's a badass way because, to go. Because because. You're not even angry because he's getting on you. You getting angry because he's getting on the woman, man. Yeah, man. That are that you know are wicked, man. That you know you ain't gonna get no pussy from. Because females don't like you. You're nice. You're they don't nice. like you. That's, uh, and if they like you, they like you for your money. And if they like you for your attitude, they been got ran through by a lot of demon ass motherfuckers, and they be like, shit, I'm gonna try something new because that shit ain't working. Yeah, man. And they probably they don't want me anymore. 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 I'm, I'm too old now. I'm too old. I hit the wall real hard. Oh, like a that, crash that, test dummy. Multiple children. Multiple crashes against the wall. I got cracks in my face. I'm buying all of loss. I'm trying to look good. All that, that type of crazy stuff. When they found out that they're too old, then they're going to try to sell it down with a dude. Good I would boy. not I would not take it. Good boy. What's your track record? What's your body count? I'm not even going to ask you because I'm not even trying to have sex. Not with you. Especially not with you. Can okay, you go on, man? No, no, no. Give me the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, Matthew 22 and uh, let me start at the uh, one. Oh, one, yeah. mm -hmm. and Yahushua answered and spake unto them again by parables and said the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son it's like a certain it's like a marriage for made for his son and in this case Yahushai. Yahweh made a feast for his son, Yahushai. Go on. Okay. And we are married to Yahushai according to Matthew 25. Yeah. Lord willing, we are. <laughs> I don't say that. Open we the, the open we are the five Open we are them virgins yeah. that uh, are going to be chased, chased virgins. Meaning we, 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 we restrain from uh, uh, symbolical sex with the other gods and stuff like that. Symbolical marriage. We stick to one God. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. Go on. Okay, go on. Come. And Yahushai answered and spake unto them again by parables and said, right. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son, right. and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding. The servants are the prophets. And they would not come. And they wouldn't come because they ain't listening to the servants. They was like, ah, I got better things to do. I'm finna make this money. I want to build up the black community. I'm telling you, like, listen, your whole community is going to drop dead. Plus you. And above that, how you going to build up your so-called black community with their money? You ain't nothing. You ain't. You ain't about it. You ain't about that real thinking. You ain't about that real thinking. You think carnal. We think spiritual. Lord willing, of course, he keeps us in. He keeps us in that mannerism of thinking. Okay, you go. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, "Tell them which are bidden." Israel, Israel, thou that killeth the prophets. So those prophets you already murdered. Now the Lord is going to send prophets in the last days and apostles first. The other apostles on there, huh? at the Great Millstone in America. He sent them out first because this group didn't come from West Africa. Of course they knew about being Israelites, but the Heavenly Father didn't send a prophet there. He didn't. He might now have, not might, he, he has now, because you got brothers in West Africa teaching this truth, but you didn't, you didn't get raised up like that, playboy. The Heavenly Father raised up the ones in the, in the, in the land of drawing waters, in the land of slavery, the ultimate land of slavery, which is America. Then come Europe, and then come West Africa. Oh yeah, and Australia too. Because brothers were set up there too. The land of their captivity, the, in the land of their captivity, they shall remember their name. West Africa is not really a land of captivity. They had wars there, yeah, they had slavery there, yeah. But not like in America, starting first and foremost. Second, Europe. Third, Australia. Because, because uh, the majority of people that live there actually are still still the people from the, that land, so-called right. land. Right, right. You got the Hamites and Israelites over there. You know that the, those those are the ones that are predominantly there. Israelites and Hamites in West Africa. Give me the precept. This is Baruch chapter two, verse thirty. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. That's the point. In the land of their captivity. So, we throw it up to the other apostles on them. That's what's up. Remember thou who thou hast learned from. And don't forget. Don't forget. 
forgetting makes you bold and proud. If Sakari was to remember who he learned from, he would never go up against them, even though demons are in your head. Okay, okay, read on. Uh, verse 4. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared, prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come, come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, and went their ways, went uh, to his farm. Yeah. Uh, one, one to his farm. Ah. I'm gonna come next week. Next week. I'm gonna oh, I'm, I'm come. I'm come. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm 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 do my own research. You know, I gotta find out and uh, stuff like that. Uh -huh. uh, another guy said, um, I need to find myself. Remember that guy? They called him Snoop. I need to find myself. He was in his truth. He said he need to find himself. Well, you gonna be found. I got a precept. Give me, give me. This is uh, Titus chapter two, verse nine. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not per, uh, purloining, but showing all Purloin? good. Purloin. Purloining. Titus 2 and what? Not purloining, but showing all good fidelity, that they may adorn the doctrine of the Most High, our Savior, Yahweh Bashem Shai, in all things. We adorn this doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Shai. 2 and 20, you said? Yeah, 2 and uh, I started start on verse 9. Yeah, not purloining, yeah, that's right. Just purloining. Steal. Being a thief. Not stealing. Another way. To, another way of stealing is stealing the word from this from the from the congregation. Meaning, not telling them the truth. That's how you steal the word from your from the people of the of your Bashem Yahushai. If you tell them that you can eat pork or whatever, then you are stealing from the truth. You are stealing from the Lord. You are stealing the, the, the word from the Heavenly Father by not giving the truth unto the people. Therefore, you're a thief, and the Most High hates thieves. That's why you're going to get a low status in the kingdom, because you're, you're stealing the word from them. You're teaching them lies. You're telling them things that they ought not to do. That's why the Lord is going to give you a low status in the kingdom. For loaning, yeah, I take away books. That's also stealing from the Lord. That's that's literally stealing books away from the from the people. Uh, for learning means literally to take or carry away oneself. Hence, to steal, to take by theft. So no stealing. The Lord hates a thief. Dash and steal. Also got the word fidelity. Which it means the word fertility first fertility. It means conviction of the truth of anything. Belief in the MT of conviction or belief respecting man's relationship to the Most High and dividing things generally with the including included idea of trust and holy favor born of faith and joined with it. Another one related to the Most High. Basically, don't steal and show fidelity. You gotta show in your first word. Fidelity, the first word. Uh, the first word. The first one is that whole thing. That's right. Basically, truth. It's related to the Most High, the conviction that the Most High exists and is the creator and ruler of all things and provider and the store of eternal salvation through Yahweh Shai, relating to Yahweh Shai, a strong and welcome conviction or belief that Yahweh Shai is the Messiah through whom he Basically obtained. faithfulness, that's fidelity. See fidelity is, is faithfulness. The religion beliefs of Christians, fidelity, faithfulness. Yeah, that's it. That's the word. Fidelity is uh, faith. So basically, faithful to a person. So it says here. Period. Yeah. Titus chapter 2, verse 9. Start verse 9 again. No, start 20. 
to a death. Verse 10. Not purloining, but showing all good fidelity. Faith. That they may adorn the doctrine of the Most High. And we adorn the doctrine of the Most High. Just like how you adorn a woman's butt cheeks, as you can see over there. So you adorn that shit, right? Just, that's just, <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I want to look. And that Jake female over there. You like it, but you know they You know it's full of shit. It's full of feces. Literally. It's full of feces. You know what I'm saying? It's full of just madness. Trouble. Full of trickery. It's full of death. Lies. Full of lies, full of trouble, full of fighting. Graveyard. Full of graveyard shift. Bodies. Full of bodies. Full of hatred. Full of hatred. Because who you hate the most? Do you hate your ex-girlfriend? Or do you hate a random ass Edomite that you see on the street? You want to kill your bitch. Your ex-bitch. You want to murder that fiend. You don't actually want to murder a stranger Edomite. You want to torture his ass because of the things they did unto your people. That's a different episode. Be because of the things that they did unto your people. But you don't go around hating on Edomites all the time. Well, I'll do sometimes, but, but I'm another case. But the point is that... <laughs> what, you got here? what you laughing about? But the point is that you do that to, 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 to the girl that was close to you. Those are the ones that piss you off the most. Why? Because she been intimate with you. And then she would then go with another. And that would make you want to kill her. Then I kill her. You know what I'm saying? But you shouldn't do none. Not murder, not kill. Just wait and give, give, give a space for the Lord to judge her. Because his, his judgment would be doper than yours. All you can do is beat her up and kill her. That ain't nothing. You can't make her suffer. Because if you do so, they're going to go to the police. You, you don't do that. You let the Heavenly Father let her suffer. Right? He could make her sick. He could do things to her. He could make Esau come down on her. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean eating pussy. I mean like breaking her down, <laughs> charging her with fines, kicking her out the house, making her pay stuff that she don't want to, taking stuff from her that she can't get back. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Losing payments on the house. Oh, now you gotta foreclose your house. You can't do that as a man in this society. Can you go and take somebody's house? No, you can't. Esau can do it. That's why you leave vengeance to the Lord. That's right. We, we're not in the kingdom yet, man. Right. David, David punished Milka for talking shit, right? Yeah. Never we, we, don't, we don't have that position, man. Right, right. That would be considered a uh, uh, human, uh, what did he say that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, keep them, uh, uh, um, Act, act, act. Human rights or some shit Yeah, no, like it's like kidnapping, man. Yeah. Because she's not allowed she was, to She was locked anywhere. up, right? Yeah, man. Like a... Uh, imprisonment. False imprisonment. Yeah, man. They would call it false imprisonment. He locked her up, and then he didn't pop her. Exactly. <laughs> so that's two things. She was probably there in the dungeon, just playing with the nipples. That's how horny she got. Of course a, a female is going to want to have sex eventually, man. But if you refrain her from sex and from other men, She's gonna die a horrible, lonely, fucked up death. You can't do that right now. They're gonna charge you for kidnap and, 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 and false imprisonment. You know, you go, you gonna serve a hundred, hundred fucking thousand years, yeah? She was, uh, she, she was uh, proud too, man. She was the, the daughter of Saul. Saul, right? yeah. So she had a certain status already. That shows you that the whole family of Saul got cursed, except Jonathan, and even Jonathan got cursed. Okay. Uh, not John, sorry, not Jonathan. Mashibo, Mashibo back. Which is Jonathan's son. Even he got messed up, man. He fell on his on his leg when he was a child, and his leg got lame. You know what I'm saying? So the whole and all the other brothers of Jonathan, they got killed. They got hung for the sins of their father. That shows you, like, yo, the whole house of Saul got messed up, man. And that's representative of what's going to happen today. The house of Saul is going to get destroyed again. Spiritual, the spiritual house of Saul. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're Benjamites. You know? But then, uh, can you finish in Matthew? Okay. So this is Matthew 22 and uh, 5. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm and another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. Yeah, they slew the prophets. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burnt up their city. That's how he sent other nations to come and kill the Israelites and then enslave their bitch ass. That's what he did. Because the one that died, that's why Yahweh Shai said, don't cry for me, cry for yourself. I'm going to be gone. And all the righteous apostles, they was already murdered. So they didn't go to the hell that the, that the two-thirds actually set upon themselves. 
they didn't go through it. They, they, they listened they didn't listen to the prophecy that was talking. If you see Jerusalem compassed with armies, flee, flee the Romantans. Right. What were they doing in Jerusalem to begin with? Chilling. Only the ones that didn't listen to Yahweh uh, uh, prophecy, you know, got caught. Got caught. Mm -hmm. If you listened, you would have escaped major pain, man. Right. And suffering. Don't go back for your beautiful coat. Because a lot of people out here, a lot of people out here, they love their clothing, man. That's look, the, look at these females, they love their clothing, man. They would fight and die for that shit, man. That's the spirit of Lot's wife. That's the spirit of Lot's wife, right, man. Going back for something. We're looking they, back. They, lo they love their little prostitute clothing, man. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't leave house without it, man. They're going to hate it soon. They're going to hate it soon because you're going you're to get judged by a clothing. Yeah. If, you, if you dress like a hoe, you're going to get nice. treated like one. They're already being treated leave, like hoes right now. you for something. Right. Especially, man. You gonna be a you gonna be a mouth dishwasher. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be a mouth disposer. People ain't gonna wash. <laughs> I ain't gonna wash my pee pee in the, in the water. Just the, for, just the royal penis is clean, your highness. That's how that's how I'm gonna wash my. Dirty Edomites is not gonna wash up and let right. you clean up. So. Right. <laughs> but then again, it's filthy as hell, man. Water is cleaning in your mouth. I'll tell you that. Uh, I'll tell you that. It feels better, though. That's yeah, it feels better. better. <laughs> <laughs> That's feels enough better. for them. It feels better, but it ain't clean, man. I'd rather have my, I'd rather have normal water wash up the dirt from yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Or the sweat. Because you sweat down there, too, man. You know what I'm saying? You sweat down there. That's why we are circumcised. So we sweat less there. But you still sweat because, you know, you pull it back, then you're going to see what's really going down. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, can you go on? Come. This is verse 8. Then said he to his servants, and the wedding is ready, right. but they which were bidden were not worthy. They were they which were bidden were not worthy. And we just read in the wisdom of Solomon chapter 3. The Most High is going to test you in order for you to be worthy for him so that you will be tried as gold is tried in the fire and in the furnace of adversity. Come. Verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. That's what we're doing right now. Come. Verse 10. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, yep. both bad and good. Both and bad and good, man. Some of them we kick out the camp. Some of them just said they, they leave. Some of them just fall off. Both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Yeah, man. We are that furnish. We are furniture for the Lord's house. And some of them furniture, you just kick out. You might see a Hamite statue and be like, what the fuck is this doing here? Get this shit out of here. Remember, remember that dude that came with the GOCC? He came here. Uh, unicorn, line up unicorn. Oh, yeah. Fat Albert. He came up with GOCC teachings up in Great Millstone, man. And he wanted to push that garbage around here. You know what the thing is? He's such a coward. He don't want to go out there and start his own camp. He want to infiltrate other people's camp, build on their foundation, and then start pushing out, spewing out fucking frog uh, teachings. But he, did, but he did, did teach two or three times, right? But it was, it was you deal. see, but you see that it's, 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 it's Oh, he went to the place where we yelling. He went yelling. to the place where we, we was teaching that, man. No Building education whatsoever. Man. Nothing. He I was, saw the video. He was trying to build upon our foundation, remember? Yelling louder! And the, 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 the people came and started making trouble with him. Yeah. Just like that guy, that Muslim guy that wanted to act like us, yeah. he got in the fight right then and there. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And he stopped. A lot of people want to imitate us, all of a sudden, people want to fight them. I'll be like, hey, kahala, y'all, basha, me, shy, man. These people ain't putting their spirit upon us, man. Uh, coming, okay, wait a minute, let me say this. These people, y'all wrote this off, of course. They don't come with that spirit upon us. Sometimes they want us. Uh, but then they got shut down by Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? But that dude look, nearly got his ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have the head. It was also crazy that uh, this one guy I used to work with, uh, I was working in Amsterdam. He told me when he saw us teaching, he said, we look like giants. <laughs> he said that we look like giants, man. That's, that's in the spirit. Y'all write the sum, man. That's in the spirit. How come you don't come up and ask? He said, yeah, you guys are very intimidating. You guys look like giants. 
just come in a different spirit, man. You know, right. you just see it also. You know, when, uh, when you see someone that's spiritual, busy with the heavenly, the heavenly Father, man, there's not a lot at all, man. There's not a lot at all. You know, and you see that immediately. Man. Remember that guy that came here with the glasses on? You can see that he has a serious face, right? Yeah, yeah, Remember, I think yeah. two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. He came here and then he said Shalom. Yeah. And then I looked at him and I was like, ah, this guy got a serious face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the beard. Yeah, and he had glasses on too, sunglasses and stuff like that. But that beard made him serious. He was serious. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like uh, um, you know, a guy that's skinny in jail, but no one fucks with him. Right, right, he right. has a certain demeanor <laughs> around him. I have a friend, a friend like that, man. <laughs> I was with him yesterday. He, uh, his health ain't doing too well. He's, he, he can't stop smoking. But we basically, he asked me to read the Bible for him, man. So it was, uh, it was very, even, very nice, man. Even these jigs that, that do a lot of crazy shit, man. Even they have some form of belief in Yahweh Bashem man. Yeah. You know, they have some form of belief in the Bible. Remember that guy that wanted to rob uh, Raccoon? And he, he went through his house to stab him and rob him? Crazy shit, man. He went through his, this guy used to be in this camp. He went to his house to rob him, but he fell out the camp. So. But this guy wanted to rob him and stab him, man. And then he went to his house because he was like, oh, you a friendly motherfucker. I'm going to rob you in your house then. Because he was like inviting him to his house. Let's go smoke weed in the house. And the guy went to his house, finna stab him, finna take his money. But then he saw a Bible on the, on the, on the, on the table. And he was like, I shit, I can't stab this dude, man. And then he talked to him and then he convinced him. And then he came here to the camp, man. That same guy that wanted to stab his ass, he referred them to us. He, they, he referred that guy to us. And then that guy came over here. We talked, you know. He wanted to be up in the camp too, but we already know, like, this ain't for you, man. All you need to do is listen and pray that the, the Heavenly Father have mercy upon you. You can't do this truth, man. You out there in the world, robbing and stabbing people, man. <laughs> but that guy was lucky, man. And I think the brother saw him, Raccoon, the other day. And he said he's missing a tooth or some shit like that, man. So he's doing bad, man. He's doing bad. You know, he'll probably end up in some a lot of fights and shit like that. This guy that I was um, around yesterday, um, I haven't spoken to him in some time, but he, he can't stop smoking, man. And what you, what you said, you can't. He, he already almost died because of it. And uh, the, the doctor told him he should be lucky that he didn't get cancer because he he been smoking since he was like 14 years old, man. And uh, we were reading, and he was uh, telling me that this is this is the scripture I've been reading every day before I leave my house, Psalms 27. And then I, I read uh, a couple other scriptures for him, and he, it was uh, he said, "Hey, you you completely different from guys that are your age, man. You, you, you know, that's why people like us we don't ha hang around a lot of people. We can't be around a lot of people. Oh, we man. will never be liked." among uh, a lot of people. That's what he said, I and mean, that's the same thing goes for him as well. My neighborhood, they call me crazy. Even though he shaves his beard, you know? Yeah, this is me. Even though he <laughs> shaves his beard, it's not to uh, make fun of him, but... Leg of the mind, leg of the mind, man, you know? You don't do that in the no, 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 Normally, a normal person won't do that. Okay, go on. He, he, he's eating pork and stuff like that from time to time, you know? I try to tell him what I can, you know? And he was even talking about idols, but he has idols in his house, so he doesn't really understand, understand what it means. And he said, like, Michael Jackson and guys like that, you shouldn't, you know, that that's an idol. But he has Buddha statues in his house, so... And sometimes, you know, the spirit blocks you, man. It blocks you from, um, um, no, explaining something oh, to yeah. someone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's not... It's given unto them. It's given not that person. Hey, hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, my young, my young? Yeah, <laughs> 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 Yeah, so basically, um, what was I saying? Yeah, 
So he, he, he does know what idol worship means, but right. he doesn't really understand that like having Buddha statues in your house is also, also idol worship. And you, the, as I said, the spirit blocks you, man, sometimes from explaining something to some, someone, you know? Because it's not the time to do that yet. Right, right, right. You understand? You're giving your pearls away. Yeah. yeah. Not, to, not to be disrespectful, but some people are why until they're not. Because we know, we know Jake's that, hey, you explain something to him today, he's a...